What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're going to be going over some crypto news and the markets, some big news for some altcoins, as well as where things are headed in the short term. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys I'm donating 25 cents to charity and 25 cents back to the community for every new subscriber. So I do appreciate you guys subscribing and spreading the word. All right, everyone. So the crypto space is looking decent today. Uh, nothing moving too much. We do have Bitcoin and Ethereum down a few percent each. Uh, Ethereum did break previous all-time highs, now down at 3.3%. So the Ethereum gas fees are just crazy right now, which is bringing a lot of attention to alternatives again, like Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, and other uh, Ethereum competitors. So Solana is up 22% on the seven day. For those that got in early, this is a massive investment this year. Just crazy how much this has gone up. Now four in coin market cap, even passing Tether. So uh, we can see the price action here, end of... Uh, 2020 the price of this was around a dollar to two dollars so uh, that's over a 100x if you did get in Solana and of year uh, Axie Infinity did have a similar return on investment to that as well so uh, we do have uh, Avalanche or yeah Avalanche AVAX up 22% also that's now back to 77 so that did have a huge pump recently I was expecting a correction uh, we did have that moving sideways for a little bit here uh, did have a small correction down to around $55, but now picking back up at all-time highs once again. And uh, the Avalanche ecosystem definitely has very high potential in the long term. So um, I've only taken small profits on this. I will be taking small percents of profit on the way up as well and reinvesting into some small cap altcoins going forward because I do think we're going to have a huge small cap altcoin surge very soon. So uh, we do have Shiba in you down a 25% on the seven day. I did warn you guys, this is likely to have a major correction. And I do think this correction will correct a little bit further here. So um, looking at history here and understanding how meme coins act, uh, is gonna help you be a better trader with this. As you guys see, this peaked out super high, went parabolic from a low price and then had a massive correction. But we, what we do have to take note of is uh, the floor was much higher, much higher lows than where it was before the massive pump. And we get tons of people calling this a pump and dump just because it surged like this and then had a massive correction. But these people don't understand this is healthy growth if we do get higher lows. We went sideways here for Shiba Inu for quite a while. It did have a pump and then went parabolic once again, peaking out, now having a huge correction. And I do think this is likely to continue, but have a higher low once again like this where it will uh, continue moving sideways until some future major events. So this type of uh, parabolic growth um, isn't going to last. Nothing goes up forever in the crypto space, which is why you should have a good entry and exit strategy. Know how to take small profits on the way up. If you're able to do that, uh, you're most likely to uh, actually get some uh, profits and then be able to reinvest when it does have that correction. You can also do this in NFTs. So uh, besides that, pretty much everything in the top 100 is just up or down a few percent. Axie Infinity up 7% today. And we do have a huge uh, crypto gaming surge over the last couple weeks. I do want to talk about some news with this and some other huge things happening in the crypto space. So we could be seeing some Bitcoin price manipulation right now from bears, but I do think a correction was expected anyways, like we have been talking about. And regardless, that would create a giant cup and handle signal, uh, which is extremely bullish for Bitcoin for end of year and testing a $100,000 Bitcoin. So this article states why Bitcoin bears are trying to keep Bitcoin price below 62,000 for Friday's option expiry. So bears need sub $62,000 uh, Bitcoin to balance the scales. Bulls have a clear shot at securing a $175 million profit. So currently Bitcoin price oscillates near 62,000 and there are incentives in place for bulls to push the Bitcoin price up at least 3.5% to 64,000 ahead of Friday's expiry. In that case, their estimated profits should increase by $100 million. So avoiding a $175 million profit from bulls is the bear's best case scenario right now because during bull runs, the amount of effort a seller needs to impact the price is immense and usually ineffective. So the bulls are winning right now. Uh, there is huge incentive for bears to suppress the price currently until the Friday's options expiry. Of course, uh, there could be many uh, different determining factors here as well. And uh, we have been moving sideways since uh, peaking out at all time highs. Very possible that we do retest $55,000 here before we start moving up again. But like we've been talking about, that would create that cup and handle uh, signal, which is very bullish for end of year. And usually is a great indicator you're gonna be seeing massive profits in the near future. 
So we do have an article here speculating on the peak prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum for this bull run. Bitcoin will peak at 253,000 and Ethereum at 22,000 this cycle if 2016 having bull run repeats. So the thing is every bull cycle, uh, the percent return on investment for Bitcoin and Ethereum generally gets smaller. Of course, this time around, we do have inflation kicking in pretty heavy. We do have mass adoption picking up uh, more so than it ever has before. All kinds of massive companies getting involved and different things happening that just weren't there the last bull run. So uh, anything is possible in my opinion. These peak prices, I really think uh, is a bit far-fetched. I do think we'll at least break a $100,000 Bitcoin and a $10,000 Ethereum at some point in 2022 possibly by end of uh, 2021, but I think it's more likely to start picking up in 2022. And I am very bullish on next year. So if, along the way, we may get some temporary bear markets as well. I don't think we're gonna be repeating a previous bear cycles where we get extended bear markets for three to four years. Then we get a huge bull run that goes parabolic uh, uh, around a year after uh, the Bitcoin halving. So uh, with all this mass adoption and everything happening, things are gonna be much different going forward. I really don't think we should base uh, uh, cryptocurrency prices and predictions on the previous bull runs at this point. So next up, we have some pretty interesting news. Google making a $1 billion investment in CME Group along with 10-year cloud deal. So uh, Google's parent company, Alphabet, has made a $1 billion equity investment in the company uh, CME, the exchange responsible for many crypto derivative products. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, if Google starts getting involved with crypto, that's gonna be huge, especially if they make a large acquisition of Bitcoin and Ethereum to hold on their balance sheet. This is a huge tech company, uh, pretty much one of the biggest in the world. So uh, with every other major company getting involved in some way, I definitely think we're gonna be seeing Google get into crypto eventually. So uh, this is a indicator they are starting to get involved and they're probably gonna take baby steps, but I could definitely see Google making a large acquisition of Bitcoin at some point, billions of dollars in Bitcoin. With that announcement, I think would cause a huge surge in Bitcoin price. A big announcement like that, I think is all we really need for Bitcoin to surge to $100,000 or more. And if we get uh, multiple companies doing this over the next year, that's the scenario uh, where I can see Bitcoin breaking 100,000 and even possibly peaking out at this $250,000 Bitcoin price prediction. So we have no idea exactly uh, where Google is headed with this at this point, but it is a good sign to see them getting involved in some way here. And I do think in the future, we will be getting more news from Google getting involved with crypto services, as well as investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum, possibly creating their own Google cryptocurrency. So we do have an article on Chainlink today. Chainlink's total value secured surpasses $75 billion as DeFi continues to surge. So this is an altcoin I'm fairly bullish on for end of year, currently at $30, the biggest Oracle project in the crypto space. Checking out the previous price history, we can see this peaked over $50. It had steady growth uh, since uh, beginning of 2021. We haven't really seen that steady growth pick up again. It does look like it's uh, beginning here, but uh, getting back to previous all-time highs is close to a 2x for this. And I definitely think that's in the cards for end of year. So this is a altcoin I think that hasn't really um, caught up to all the other top altcoins in the crypto space. It hasn't really had a lot of attention on it, but it is doing massive things here. Something I do want to quickly go over in this article. Since debuting its mainnet in May of 2019, Chainlink has launched over 700 Oracle networks, which have secured over 600 million data points across 10 blockchains. The Oracle network has onboarded an average of 1.4 new partners each day in 2021. That is a massive amount of new partnerships, and that will only continue into the future. They'll be securing uh, more money as DeFi and the metaverses grow, uh, which they are powering some of these metaverses. That means uh, more demand will come to the Chainlink network, and the price of the link should be appreciating over time. So Chainlink already powers multiple uh, metaverse applications across DeFi, NFTs, and gaming. We fully expect smart contracts to power the new relationships being formed in the metaverse, especially since these relationships need to be inherently trustless due to the new level of uh, identity that the metaverse makes possible. So as the metaverse gets more popular and grows, Chainlink will as well. So the Chainlink CEO also stated, I anticipate the trustless metaverse does require trustless data, trustless off-chain compute, and the ability to utilize multiple chains, all of which Chainlink is being heavily relied upon for already. 
so that's big as uh, the metaverse does go mainstream Chainlink will be used and integrated further and i do think this is a altcoin that is overdue for a good price surge here which is why i'm dollar cost averaging as we head towards end of year i definitely think there's huge potential here so with Shiba Inu going up so much over the last couple weeks, people that invested just a year ago and got in very early on SHIB, uh, just investing a few thousand dollars, they've now made billions of dollars of profit on this. We did talk about uh, this in a previous video. A person that invested around $6,000 had $7 billion in SHIB token at the peak. So Shiba Inu falls after $2.3 billion of SHIB moved from Whale Wallet. So he is spreading his cryptocurrency out, which uh, is definitely recommended for anyone out there. You should spread your crypto out to multiple wallets because there's so many hacks happening. If you don't know how to avoid these hacks, it's uh, better to spread things out, have different passphrases that you also spread out just in case one wallet does get uh, hacked, you don't get wiped out completely. So uh, the thing is when people start moving massive amounts of money like this and taking some profits, it does cause panic for um, a lot of different investors who then also start taking profits and this will quickly start correcting to a level where people aren't taking as much profit and the buying and selling pressure evens out and it continues moving sideways. So uh, that's the thing with small cap cryptocurrencies like this that are newer was having such huge return on investment in just one year, you have to expect people that got in early to start taking profits and that's going to increase selling pressure and uh, that's going to make it harder for the crypto to move up and most likely will cause a massive correction. Nothing moves up forever in the crypto space and the sooner you understand that and have a good entry and exit strategy that can reflect on this, where you start taking profits on the way up, you're going to be more successful in the long term. And then uh, if you are taking profits on the way up, when it does have a correction to a point where you're comfortable investing, you can start uh, dollar cost averaging on the way down. And by doing that, you're going to uh, have better averages and you're going to have uh, better profit overall than just holding very long term. So personally, in my portfolio, I only uh, do this with a smaller percent and I do hold most of my crypto very long term anyways, because I'm not going to be day trading with uh, my entire portfolio like this. Uh, but I do recommend doing this with at least a small percent. If you guys want to learn more about my entry and exit strategy, I do have a pinned video on my channel that does go over this. And I have an entire crypto guides playlist you can go over as well. So more uh, great news here, Binance to spend $115 million in France to develop European crypto ecosystem. So uh, they just announced the launch of a 150 million crypto and blockchain initiative during a conference in France. This is great. The more expansion we get like this, the more adoption we're going to get and the more users in the ecosystem, the more investors and demand there is, the higher crypto prices will go over time. So great to see news like this rolling out day after day. So everyone's in the sandbox, artists, brands, and creators pile into the metaverse. The sandbox sand token has had massive profit. I have been talking about this for the last uh, five or six months and I have been dollar cost averaging. I actually do started dollar cost averaging when sand token was near its peak. And um, I did that because there was a lot of gaming hype at the time. Once again, we are starting to see this hype. This is down 14% having a correction because it did surge so much as well. And if we look at this, it had a parabolic run up here. So many influencers talking about this and so much hype on the metaverse with Facebook announcing their name change and going all in on the metaverse. Everyone has uh, focused their attention onto these gaming metaverse projects like the Sandbox. I do think this is very high potential in the long term and this will continue climbing in price very long term. But in the short term, this has run up so much. Of course, people are gonna start taking profits again as well. So this did peak out over $3. I believe it actually peaked out around uh, $3.50. So yeah, this did peak out around $3.30 here on CoinMarketCap. So massive profit. This was only $0.22 cents when the market did bottom here. So Sand Token did bottom here around end of June, around $0.20, cents, even dipping below that temporarily. So that is now over a 10x in a short period of time. I have been dollar cost averaging as I have been telling you guys on the channel. This is a bullish coin for the long term and I definitely see high potential once the game gets going and starts picking up mass adoption. The Sandbox, Sand Token, and their NFTs I think are only going to continue rising in the long term. But of course in the short term there is going to be a correction just like there is for everything. Nothing goes up forever and you should be very careful buying anything at a major peak like this. You should always do your research. If you see a crypto at a major peak 
that's up over 10x in just the last couple months and not having any major correction yet you should be very cautious of that and if you do want to go in be very prepared to hold long term and at least dollar cost average so you can lower your average buy-in rates so pretty much all gaming coins have been surging uh, we can see decentraland mana uh, this is one i missed i actually researched this in the summer when it was just two cents so that would now be over a hundred x as well i did catch a hundred x on axie infinity though and there's going to be a lot of other games that have massive potential like this that will do a hundred x in the next couple years but there's also a lot of uh crypto gaming coins that are launching promising things that are uh they're just never going to be able to deliver on uh they don't have a big team these type of uh triple a games that are going to be huge and uh have mass adoption they need massive teams to develop and it takes years to get them on a good scale where there's no bugs or anything and where it can have actual user mass adoption so decentraland mana and the sandbox sand token are cryptocurrencies that have been developed for years out here as we can see uh decentraland mana back in 2017 here uh, is when it actually launched so this has been in development for years which does mean they're much further ahead than a lot of these new crypto gaming altcoins out there so uh the thing is this is much more uh higher in market cap than the brand new coins but they are much further developed so it's really hard to pick uh and choose which uh crypto gaming altcoins you want to go in on i will be doing a video going over all the crypto gaming altcoins that i'm bullish on i am uh, buying into a couple small caps i'm going to continue dollar cost averaging sandbox on any major dips and there is a couple others as well engine coin we actually have some news on that which is another one uh, have been mentioning uh, in the past here so we can see this has a giant uh, cup here as well it did peak out uh, beginning of april when there was gaming hype over three dollars we're now back to three dollars here for engine and we do have some news on that engine is also creating their own metaverse and i do think this is very bullish in the long term also so uh that news on engine engine wants to decentralize its metaverse with new hundred million dollar fund they're doing all kinds of different things in the gaming space. So the Efinity Metaverse Fund will focus on seed equity investments for projects building Efinity. Definitely bullish here. And we have seen uh, projects surge previously that have announced big funds like this. It does show uh, they're very focused on uh, bringing as much adoption uh, to their platform as possible. So another bullish article here on crypto NFT gaming. NFTs and play to earn are future of gaming industry, says EA Boss. EA is a massive gaming company. So more than uh, likely, they will be going into NFTs and crypto themselves in the future. And I do think every major gaming company will be doing this eventually. But it's going to be these um, game small cap gaming projects that actually launch using crypto and NFTs that are going to go mainstream first. I don't think uh, major platforms are going to just adopt NFTs and crypto out of nowhere. They have much more to lose than these brand new projects that are developing with it from the beginning. So last article for today, pretty interesting. KuCoin launches a virtual office in the Blocktopia metaverse. That is crazy that they're able to do this already. And imagine the potential in the future once Facebook develops theirs and all these other metaverses get developed and go more mainstream having much more capabilities. It's going to be uh, mind blowing in my opinion. And I do think that's the future of gaming and social media and many other things as well, which is why Facebook and so many other companies are really putting a ton of focus and resources into this. So I actually bought an Oculus last week. I haven't really set it up yet, just uh, getting the initial settings going, but it's insane how uh, well developed the Oculus is uh, when you do put the headset on. Uh, in virtual reality i think the potential here is insane and nfts and crypto are going to have a massive spot in the future metaverses when they do go mainstream which is why i have been buying blue chip nfts and uh holding out very long term waiting for the metaverse to go more mainstream and different cryptos that will be related as well but we have to keep in mind we have to be careful buying cryptos at peak prices and having a good entry strategy, dollar cost averaging and everything will help you be more successful in the long term with this. So that's it for today's crypto news and market update. I hope you guys found it useful. Lots of huge things happening. I think we're nowhere close to the peak of this current bull market. I think 2022 is going to be a huge year. So like always, I appreciate you guys like the video. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts and be sure to be uh, subscribed. For every new subscriber, I am donating 25 cents to charity and 25 cents back to the community and a huge end of year giveaway which will add up to around $100,000. So I do recommend following me on Twitter as well. I'm doing regular giveaways. I just gave away a mutant ape uh, worth around $20,000.
and I will be doing more NFT giveaways. I'm launching my NFT set coming up very soon, and I will be giving a, a few of those away on my Twitter account and continuing to do giveaways for my NFTs towards the end of year. So um, I will give you guys more information on the launch of my NFT sets. Uh, just keep in mind, there's a lot of scammers out there impersonating me. You can only follow and believe links from my official Twitter and YouTube account and always be cautious. So that's it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.